Use a high frequency probe applied transverse to the course of the vein. The vein is the lumen adjacent to the artery that compresses as the probe is pressed against the skin. The needle is the bright round point entering the venous lumen. Ultrasonography can be used to locate suitable veins before so-called blind placement, or as shown in this video, for real-time imaging of the needle entering the vein. Equipment for the intravenous line insertion includes short connecting tubing, commonly called a heparin lock, antiseptic wipes, plastic catheters, typically 18 or 20 gauge, a transparent adherent dressing, and a tourniquet. A sterile saline flush and tape are also usually needed. The anticubital fossa is often selected because cannulation here has a high success rate. Support the patient's arm. Apply a tourniquet proximal to the insertion site. Select a high-frequency vascular probe. Apply lubricant to the probe. Apply the probe transverse to the course of the vein. The deep brachial veins and adjacent arteries are black and often appear contiguously as an hourglass or figure eight. The vein is identified as the lumen that collapses as the probe is compressed against the skin. Here it is left and superior to the artery. Cleanse the skin and, if desired, inject lidocaine superficially. Inserting the needle with the probe held transversely is often recommended for beginners because imaging the needle when the probe is placed longitudinally requires precise longitudinal alignment between the probe and needle. The needle is a bright round point that should be seen entering the venous lumen. Once in the vein, direct the needle slightly anteriorly and advance it. Withdraw the fully inserted needle and attach the tubing. Withdraw blood from the syringe to confirm correct placement. Remove the tourniquet. As when placing any intravenous catheter, flush the tubing and needle. Another way to confirm placement is to see fluid, here visible as bubbles, flowing into the venous lumen. If necessary, placement can be confirmed by turning the probe 90 degrees so that it's oriented longitudinally with the needle. The needle is a bright linear structure within the venous lumen. Both are visible going from side to side on the monitor. Apply a transparent adhesive bandage and tape down the catheter. Mm -hmm.